To understand expanding brackets, we first need to understand bid mass. As some examples, let's work out these calculations. In A, we want to work out 3 times bracket 2 plus 3. The first letter in bid mass stands for brackets, so I'm going to work out what's in the brackets first. 2 plus 3 is 5, and underneath that I'm going to do the multiplication. 3 times 5 is 15, so my first answer is 15. Secondly, 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 multiplied by 7 is 35, so my second answer is 35. In C, I need to do the multiplication first, so I'm going to underline my multiplication. Underneath that, I'm going to calculate. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, then add. This will give me an answer of 15. In D, we have 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 times 2 is 10. We add them up, and we get 35. We should notice that the answer to A is identical to the answer to C because they're both equal to 15. So we can therefore say that 3 times bracket 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 3 times 3. Similarly, our answer to B was 35 and so was our answer to D. This means that 5 times 5 plus 2 in a bracket is identical to 5 times 5 plus 5 times 2. This should give us an idea of what it means to expand a bracket. We can see that we have multiplied 5, so the first number, or the number on the outside of the bracket, by 5 on the inside to, do, to get 5 times 5. We've multiplied 5 by 2 to get 5 times 2, and then we've added. So that is basically the key to expanding brackets. Here are some examples with algebra. Um, so this is ba this is called this is called expanding brackets, or you can also say removing brackets. The rule is if you want to learn it as a rule, but really it's better to just practice. A times bracket B plus C is A times B plus A times C. A bracket B times C is A times B take away A times C. This is also called the distributive rule or distributive property. If I want to expand 3 times bracket x plus 2, I'm going to do 3 times x, which we know is 3x, and then 3 times plus 2 is plus 6. You might think, well, normally, I just, when I, if I say 3 times plus 2, I just get 6. But we need the plus in between to tell us that we're actually doing 3x, 3 lots of x, plus 6, not 3 lots of x times, times 6. In B, we need to do 4 times A, which is 4A, and then 4 times plus 2 is plus 8. In C, 4 times A is 4A, 4 times plus B is plus 4B. Finally, in D, 3 times X is 3X squared, and then plus 3X times minus 2 is going to be minus 6X. So we actually have 3x squared take away 6x. In E, we have 6x times 2x, that's 12x squared. And then 6x times minus 4y, a plus times a minus is a minus. So we have minus 24xy. Here are some questions for you to try. I'd like you to expand these brackets. Remember, if you have a positive times a negative, your answer will be a negative. A negative times a negative, your answer will be a positive. Please pause the video now and have a go, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. In a GCSE, you're often expected to expand two lots of brackets and simplify the outcome. Here, we're asked to expand and simplify the expression. So what I'm going to do first is expand 2 bracket x plus 3. This will give me 2x plus 6. And then I'm going to do the second bracket, so plus 3 times x plus 3x plus 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. It's really important to emphasize the signs. Once I've expanded, I now collect my like terms to simplify. 2x plus 3x, remember it's the sign in front of a term that determines its sign, so 2x plus 3x is 5x, 
plus 6 take away 12 is minus 6. So I have 5x minus 6. A slightly harder example here because there's a minus um, outside one of the brackets. We expand the first bracket, 5x plus 20. We then make sure that we're paying attention to the minus in front of that 2. So to expand the second bracket, we can consider it as minus 2 times x, which will give us minus 2x. Minus 2 times plus 3 is minus 6. We've now expanded and we now simplify. 5x take away 2x is 3x. 20 take away 6 is plus 14. So that's our answer. A slightly trickier example again. I'm going to expand my first bracket, giving me 6x plus 12. Then I'm going to be really careful. We have minus 3 times x minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. 6x take away 3x is 3x. 12 plus 9 is going to be 21. So I have 3x plus 21. Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go. And when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. 